Okay, for this question, we want to calculate the limit of x goes to infinity. And here we have a fraction. And we have a numerator on top and a denominator on the bottom. And they're both polynomials in this case. And sometimes we will have also a square root sign uh, either on the bottom or on the top, like this one shown here. So the key to solve this type of questions is we want to compare the highest degree of your numerator and denominator. And let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say we have a given polynomial Okay, so the highest degree means we only want to look at the term that have the highest power. In this case, for our numerator, it's 2x to the second. For our denominator, it's our first term, 3x cubed. 3x cubed. And then we further simplify this, and that's going to give us 2 over... 3x. And the reason we only want to look at the highest degree term is here is the trick. When x goes to infinity, the highest power term is going to grow the fastest. It's going to outgrow all the other terms. So that's why we can kind of ignore the terms with a lower degree since they are not as important as the highest term in determining the limit. So once we calculate this simplified term, we have three categories we can look into. So the degree of numerator is less than the denominator. What I mean is we're going to have limit x goes to infinity, and then we're going to have terms such as 1 over x, or 1 over x squared, or in our example we have 2 over 3x. In this case, we see we have a constant on top, but then we divide it by x as x goes to infinity. So this denominator is a really, really large number. So a constant divided by a really large number is always going to give us 0. So in that case, if our numerator degree of our numerator is smaller than the denominator, our limit is always going to equal to 0. So for the second situation, we have the degree of numerator is the same as the degree of denominator. So for example, we might have our simplified term might look like this. That means we have 2x as x goes to infinity, a very large number, a 5x as x goes to infinity, a very large number, and they are going to all to infinity but at a different rate. So the rate depending on the coefficient in front of it. So in this case, we can kind of divide it, the top and the bottom by x and only left off with the coefficient here. So our limit is the same as the coefficient, which is 2 over 5. So for this third condition, we have the limit of x goes to infinity. And here we have numerator has a higher degree, which means we might have x to the second or x to the third or something like that. Then in this case, as x goes to infinity, x squared also goes to infinity or x third even goes to, goes to infinity even faster. 
So in that case, our limit will always be infinity. But pay attention to your sign. If you have limit of x goes to negative infinity, and your term is, for example, only x, then that means your x is going to be a very large negative value. And so the answer for that will also go to negative infinity. So just watch out for the sign here. Okay, so now let's look back to our original equation. Here, let's look at the highest degree of our numerator. You might say is 4x to the 6th, but be careful here. Since we have a square root sign, we want to first open up the square root. And since x to the 6 is a very large number, we can ignore all the other terms. And when we open up 4x to the 6, we get 2x to the 3rd. And for the bottom, we have 2 minus x to the 3rd. And that means we only need to write the highest degree of the denominator, which is negative x to the 3rd. So our limit becomes So this would be the result for our limit. And in this case, what we have is the degree of numerator is the same as the denominator. So in that case, all we look at is the coefficient. Or if you want a more strict mathematical proof, you can also think of it this way. That is, we can divide it x to the third on both the top and the bottom, which we would get the same answer.